Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Mercedes. If you are new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So today's video is going to be about my experience as a criminal justice major. So I graduated with a criminal justice degree in 2018 from the University of Texas at Arlington. I also have an associate's degree in criminal justice as well. So I have a good background in criminal justice. So I want to share some insight on receiving or going to college for criminal justice and just my overall experience. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching this video. So as a criminal justice major, the first thing I'm going to tell you, prepare yourself for a lot of reading. If you excel in English, then you should excel in criminal justice as well because it does involve a lot of reading, a lot, a lot of reading. It's a huge coursework all around reading it's kind of like you're taking English 5.0 because it's so much reading and it's so much writing you're going to be doing reports you're going to be doing papers and I'm not talking about small papers I'm talking about big papers large reports that all comes with criminal justice and it's going to be pretty much off of the material that you read for criminal justice I found that I needed majority of my books for each class when majoring in criminal justice because a lot of your coursework is based off reading so you have to have these books in order to stay a boat in these courses now i did not of course purchase all of my books through the university because the books are expensive so i would do amazon i would rent my books but i would not purchase from the university itself because books they're just expensive i wouldn't say it's fast paced but it's good to read your material prior to going to class so that you would be able to follow along more if you like government and history you will have a lot of coursework in government and history because you need to learn the history of the laws and pretty much how they've changed over time and how the history impacted what is what it is today so history and government are very heavy within criminal justice as well you also have to have four foreign language courses now you can take all of the same course or you can take two of one language in two of another language and that will equal your four foreign language course courses that you need to take and I decided to take Spanish all four years and let me tell you it was a struggle I didn't know that we could actually switch we could do like two years Spanish two years French I thought that you know let me just try to do Spanish I want to learn Spanish um <laughs> it's not for me I didn't learn anything <laughs> but I but I made it out barely but I made it out um what else about criminal justice so for me I've always knew when I first went to college I thought that I wanted to be a nurse but in the back of my mind before I actually got to college in nursing when I graduated was like this big deal like everybody be a nurse, be a nurse, they make money, they make money. So it was like pressured on my generation when I graduated high school. So I thought, okay, I'm going to be a neonatal nurse and I'm going to make money and I'm going to help babies and I'm going to help people because ultimately I wanted to help people. So I thought that nursing would give me the ability to do so. But I I found out really quick that nursing was not for me. I don't like to see people in that state. I don't like to see people helpless and especially not babies. So I've always been one of those kids who just like to, you know, watch those crime shows. I always thought that I would be a detective. I always thought that I would be a lawyer because I always like to debate with people and you know, I thought that, but when I graduated, I was like, no, I want to be a nurse because, you know, 
So I put all of that in the back of my mind and just forgot about it and tried to do nursing. But like I said, I found out that was not for me. So I just went back to what I knew I should have been doing in the beginning. I learned that I wanted to do criminal justice pretty quickly. So a lot of people don't. A lot of people go to college thinking they want to do one thing. They sit there for two to three years and then later realize, okay, this is not for me. I kind of got that way with criminal justice as well and I will get into that on a separate video as to like going through college and my thought price my thought process about the criminal justice system before and after graduating so I will do a whole separate video because that's just a whole nother video in itself but if you are thinking about majoring in criminal justice I want you to first understand that a lot of the opportunities out there you're not going to become rich by being by having a criminal justice degree so you can't really go into this field thinking about money 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 which kind of was the reason for a lot of people going into the nursing field you won't hear that a lot about criminal justice a lot of people are in the criminal justice field and don't even carry a degree and the pay grades and the pay differences from people with degrees and without degrees is not much. And I am just being honest. I know correctional officers who make 25 plus dollars and they don't have any type of criminal justice degree. And I know probation officers with a bachelor's degree in criminal justice who are barely pushing 20, 25 dollars. So it's not a field where you're going to make a lot of money unless you work your way up of course it's going to be a lot of working your way up and possibly getting higher degrees as well now when it comes to the job market for criminal justice i can say you are open to a wide variety of jobs if you go online and you just google jobs on indeed or something and type in bachelor's degree in criminal justice there'll be a number of different types of jobs that pop up and you'll be surprised where you can put your degree at when i graduated college i did not get a job off the bat it took me a year to get a job and it's not really in my field but it did require my degree so basically i went and i searched bachelor's degree in criminal justice and a certain amount of jobs pulled up i was applying everywhere and this job said that you know if you have a criminal justice degree a psychology degree a geography degree then you can apply so i applied and i ended up getting the job it is an investigation job However, it's not criminal justice investigation. It's a whole different world. I'll go into what I do in a separate video. I know I keep saying separate videos, but I don't want to make this video longer than it has to be. But like I said, you have a, a wide variety of job opportunities with a criminal justice degree. You can actually go into social work with a criminal justice degree. You can go into CPS. You can go into... Um, I don't know what it's called in wherever you're from it's like the um, it's not CPS but it's like when you go out to facilities like nursing homes and children homes it's outside of the CPS system so it's like nursing homes or facilities where care is given and if they're being neglected and things like that you have you have a lot of opportunities with a criminal justice degree it's just that the pay is not so great now with the criminal justice degree even though you do have a bachelor's degree and you're thinking oh i'm gonna get a job right out the gate that's not always the case so if you are thinking about being or doing criminal justice make sure you do an internship i cannot stress that enough i highly 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 suggest you do internships because it is hard to get into the criminal justice system once you get in great but it's hard either you're going to have to work your way up even with a degree or you're just going to have to know somebody or you're going to have to intern 
I found myself applying for probationary jobs in the juvenile and the adult level. I found myself um, applying for group homes or halfway houses and I was not getting any traction, any calls back. The only job that I got close to was a DP. It was the Department of Protective Services, some type of job, and I made it to the second part of the application, but I didn't get an interview. So again, internships are important with a criminal justice degree. Whether you have a degree or not, you have to intern. And also remember that your pay, you're going to be sitting at the same pay as someone without a degree when it comes to the criminal justice field, which can be very discouraging, but you just have to work your way up. Having that degree gives you a little leverage, but you're still going to have to work your way up. So yeah, I mean, if you don't have time to intern, you may be a single parent like I was working, going to school understandable but you're going to have to work your way up you're going to have to start as a co a correctional officer they definitely they like to hire people with criminal justice degrees but they do hire a lot of people who do not have a criminal justice degree or you can go ahead and be a police officer police academy get into the police academy that's not something that i wanted to do even though i know i wanted to be a detective but i didn't want to be a police officer especially with the Things that you just learn and you go through and then what we're experiencing today with police officers, I was kind of like, mm. you know, y'all so the world is kind of was kind of going against police officers for a while. So I wasn't really ever into being a police officer, but I did want to be a detective and in order to be a detective, you have to be a police officer or a military um or part of the military or something like that so yeah that was that that that's that so if you are majoring in criminal justice just know it's a lot of heavy coursework in regards to reading and writing you'll be doing a lot of papers you'll be doing a lot of reports you'll be doing a lot a lot of discussion boards <laughs> and it's not something that i think is challenging it's not like you have to learn this law this law this law in school but it is important to learn them it is important to see where the criminal justice system is going and kind of how it has transformed over the years but also at the same time be mindful of the system in its current state and know that it may be a little discouraging and it may not you may feel like this isn't for you but just understand that one person can't change the system sometimes it does take a lot of us an army of us to say you know what i'm gonna do this because i feel like i can make a difference and that will keep you going and it'll motivate you to want to get this degree, even though you're just one person and help somebody and help those who are struggling in this criminal justice system. And don't look at others who fall victim to the system as criminals and evil and disgusting humans. Just understand that everybody has a story. And if you're passionate about something, be passionate about it and be be better than what you are taught or what you learned in school and all you can do is make a difference in your day-to-day -day life even if you can't change the entire system you can't change the world just be different and make a change in your direct passage so whoever you come in contact with try to be uplifting to them and hopefully deter them from this system that can be a revolving system so i hope this video was helpful for anyone who is looking to major in criminal justice 
If you have any specific questions, make sure to leave them down below so that I can answer those questions in another video. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye guys.